Are you working on a really long document, maybe a training manual, research paper, or a big report? Depending on the project, it might be dozens or even hundreds of pages long. You might need a table of contents. Let me show you. The most important thing to know about creating an automatic table of contents in Word is that you first need to format your document using the heading styles. That's because it's the heading styles formatting that feeds your table of contents. In my example document, I'm going to go through and apply the heading styles. This first one, I will apply the heading one style. I'm going to scroll down. I think this is going to be a heading two. Scroll down a little bit more. I think I have another one, heading two. I want this to fall under the heading one. And I can see the rest of my document already has headings applied. So now that I have applied all my heading styles, I can insert a table of contents. Make sure that your cursor is where you want to insert the table of contents. Now navigate to the References tab on the ribbon. Then in the Table of Contents grouping, click the Table of Contents command. And you have different built-in types. And I'm just going to go ahead and go with this first one. And my Table of Contents automatically inserts itself into the document. So the Table of Contents uses the heading styles in your document to determine where each section begins. Sections that begin with a Heading 2 or 3 style will be nested within a Heading 1 style, much like a multi-level list. A Table of Contents also creates links for each section, allowing you to navigate to different parts of your document. So I would just hold down my Control key and click on the page that I want to go to. And I quickly jump to that section. If you edit or add to your document, it's easy to update the table of contents. Let's scroll to the bottom, and I'll just make some quick changes. I'll create another heading. This is a test heading. I'll go ahead and make that heading 1. Let's go back up to my table of contents. I'm going to click on it and simply click on Update Table. And I'm going to Update Entire Table. Click OK. And if I scroll down, I can see there was that change that I made. So it's that easy. Thanks for watching.